Good afternoon. We are here in Long Island, New York on behalf of NYC Live and Runway News. And we have the pleasure of being with some male models now. Thank double the pleasure, double the pleasure, Marcus the and Gio. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Glad to be here with amazing models, amazing great designers here in Long Island. Uh, I would like to express huge amount of gratitude to William Michael Reed, Al Vey, Joe Clark, this young man right here, uh, and everyone who put this event together. Huge shout out to the Fitzgeralds for this opportunity to, uh, I guess, have this thing at their house. Guys, let me tell you. Hospitality. Hospitality. Eastern New York hospitality. Long Island hospitality. <laughs> you know, hospitality is known to be in the South, but New York has its own hospitality. Guys, let me tell you. What we had yesterday was history. What we will have tomorrow is a mystery. What we are having today is a gift, which is why it's called a present. And I'm very grateful to be celebrating this gift with so many amazing people, you know? And you know what, he's right. I, I'm not a model. And I'm sure some of y'all people watching this video, no matter what you like, these are two gifts. Look at them, right? It's beautiful, right? So we have Marcus and we have Gio. Um, since we have double ping, we're gonna start and have a conversation today. First of all, how are you enjoying today, Marcus? I'm enjoying this, uh, this afternoon very much. Um, just blessed to wake up at 3 a.m. this morning. Mm -hmm. I like to get up early, give myself a chance to wake up my body, you know, and, and, and go into my morning with my taking my vitamins and try to stay on my routine. Um, the drive up was beautiful. No traffic. Only thing I fought was the fog. Made it up here. 8:30. Call time was nine. So when you're early, you're on time. When you're on time, you're late. Just remember that, people. It's very important. And let me tell you, audience, this is some inside information. He said he got up early. Just because it's COVID doesn't mean you get sloppy. For a lot of y'all, everybody here watches this knows Atlantic City. Marcus lives near Atlantic City. We're in Long Island. It's a two and a half hour ride. So he woke up three o'clock this morning. With no traffic. With no traffic. no traffic. You're looking at three hours plus. Yeah. But that's okay. I mean, still, you know, it's all about getting to where you want to go in life, right? How bad do you want it? Exactly. You see that, right? So he's right. Three o'clock in the morning with COVID. If this is natural times, that would have been a four-hour trip to get out here. But he still got here. He said nine o'clock call time. He was here, and he's here today. That is some determination. If you're in the fashion industry or you want to be in the fashion industry, sometimes you got to make sacrifices. Sometimes you got to drive two and a half hours, three hours, or fly, depending on what the opportunity is. And we're in New York, and sometimes you have to come to New York to do that opportunity if you're outside in the country. Some people are watching this video, you're in other countries. With COVID, it's not happening right now. But it will be shut down eventually. Just look into that opportunity. Now let's look at Geo. Geo is local. Where are you from, Geo? Brooklyn, New York, guys. Brooklyn, New York. BK from BK, a representative of Brooklyn, New York, proud resident of Brooklyn, New York. You know, uh, I started modeling, acting. Um, now that everything is at major standstill, I use my platform to speak for the ones without a voice, for the have-nots, for the ones who cannot speak for themselves. What I currently do is I put together meetings between the police department and communities in order to bridge the gap the idea is to here restore, reinstate the level of trust between police departments and our communities. Very important to establish order, create a positive systemic change, create a long-term sustainable change, and bring unity back to our community. That's what Brooklyn is all about. Brooklyn is about unity. And fashion is a universal language. And we use fashion to communicate with people. You know? That's not, and that, you know what, today, especially now, it's about your platform. How can you use your platform to speak, to speak about what you're passionate about? Some people talk about defunding the police, Black Lives Matter, but we know no matter what, those two things can coexist, and that's what Gio's talking about, is how we can bridge the gap in these police communities and bridge everybody together and get protection and everybody survive and live together. So that's a wonderful thing that you're doing. At the end of the day, bro, we all need each other. You know, we cannot have one without the other. You cannot spell community without the word unity. The community needs the police department to serve and protect, and the police department needs the community to support and cooperate. Guys, we need each other. We need to unite because united we are a lot stronger than we are divided. 
He said that? He said, you can't spell community without unity. And that's true. Y'all look at your dictionaries, you see how that's spelled. What are you passionate about, Marcus? What's, what's something you're passionate well, about? I'm passionate about people. I'm going to piggyback off of Gio. No matter what we do, we cannot do it alone. We all go to our favorite store. Mm -hmm. We go to our favorite store for a reason. We eat and beans. We like the people that work there. We like the service that we get. We like the smile that they welcome us with. I mean, you can go anywhere, but you choose where you want to go in life and be happy. And you surround yourself with people that are yeah. making moves. And if you don't know, yeah. just ask. Because you're never going to know unless you ask to find out. I mean, we all tie our shoes, but it took some longer than others. You can go way back to tying the shoes if you want. That's true. Hey, it's you and I. I didn't get here by myself. It took others. And I'm here to help you. You need my help? We can talk. We all need somebody to talk to nowadays. A lot of people like to keep their mouth quiet. How are you going to change things in this world or make somebody else happy? Because we can all help somebody. We don't need a reason to. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, you know, okay. it's interesting you both say this. Now, one of the things we're here for today is William Michael Reed put on a fashion show. So both of you are wearing a design from a designer. Now, unfortunately, because of COVID, friends, they couldn't fly up from Miami. And last year in Miami, this designer, he crushed it in Miami. Let me tell you, all the models, they loved it. Miami looks. Would y'all like to showcase what y'all wearing right now for Miami Looks? Sure. Miami Looks. Absolutely. Miami Looks. Y'all stand up yeah. and show the audience because the designer's not here, so we want to give a shout out. The designer has an opportunity to have an interview to talk about it. This is just some right. things from the male perspective of Miami Looks. How y'all like that? And we say male, some women like wearing these too, so this is not for males. Women sometimes like wearing these too. Very soft, very comfortable. They said very soft, very comfortable. Masculine. Miami Looks, trendy. trendy. Looks. Definitely trendy. I don't know. I don't know Rick Ross. I'm not in Miami and all. But if I was Rick Ross and had the, you know, I would be like hell. I would have that in my video. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Good, yeah, good looks. looks. Thank you so much for the opportunity to Thank rock you. your style, to rock your trunk. Likewise. We are about to have a good swim in the pool. So real quick here, William Michael Reed put this together. Y'all, you work with William Michael Reed a lot. I think. Believe oh. yourself. Mm -hmm. Both of y'all have. But first of all, I want to make sure that your platform for anybody want to look out for you on your platform let's start with marcus if anybody want to reach out to you as a designer or even somebody in the modeling business to say hey what did you do what's your platform sure well my platform i can give you my facebook which is my first name marcus and the, the marcus h h-e-s last name Seda, S E D A, and my instagram is at h.m-s-e-d-a that's my Instagram. Nice. Look me up. Thank you, Asa. And Gio, what is your platform for anybody who want to reach out to you as a designer or in the fashion business for them to reach out to you? Or even, as you mentioned, for your passion for, for the police community and all that bridge of stuff, mention your platform. Well, guys, a uh, platform for a model, actor, for anyone in the entertainment industry is very important. It's very important to have good uh, Instagram, just basically good uh, social media uh, social media platform because a lot of people look up to us a lot of people check us out we can have managers agents uh, we can have um, just different people that represent us but at the end of the day no one can represent us better than we can represent our own selves you know you guys can find me on social media on Facebook Gio Delavici G-I-O D-E-L-A-V-I-C-C-I, and on Instagram, IG, is roughrider underscore 84, R-U-F-F-R-Y, D-E-R underscore 84, and also you can Google me, Sergio Delavici. Ask Alexa, she'll tell you. <laughs> he said, ask Alexa. Now, if you change the name of Alexa, ask whoever it is you want to ask, but that's the content, yo, fellas, good job. Nice having you here. Y'all see the video, they're killing it in the pool and all that. Enjoy yourselves, fellas. Thanks for coming through. Enjoy having that. Likewise. Reach Thank out you. to them. Blessings. Help them out. Thank you.